I'm Kim Kirk with a list of 10 things I learned from Joshua. It's good to be mentored. Be strong and courageous. Stay in the word and do it. Take a step of faith. And our lesson for today is mark and remember important stuff. We see this throughout the whole Old Testament and the book of Joshua is no exception. In Joshua chapter 4, after all of the Israelites had walked through the Jordan River and were on the other side, the priests were still standing in the middle of it, and God ordered 12 men, one from each of the 12 tribes, to go into the river to the middle of it to, to get a large stone and then to pile it up as an altar of remembrance of what he did on that day. We already saw in our number three, stay in the word and do it, that Joshua in Joshua chapter eight, they built an altar then as well, and they wrote the words of the law on it. In chapter 22, we talked about how Joshua gave a charge to the two and a half tribes whose land was on the west side of the Jordan to stay in the word. But what else happens later in that chapter is they also built an altar of stone just so that down the line, people wouldn't say, oh, well, you're not really part of the Jewish nation because you're on the other side of the Jordan River. We need to mark and remember important things as well. We don't usually do it with altars or piling stones, but maybe uh, putting together a photo album or journaling. It could be having an annual celebration or, or maybe even planting a tree. It really doesn't matter how we do it, but it is important for us to mark and remember significant occurrences in our lives. Well, we are halfway through our list and I hope that you keep coming back until we meet again consider, remember, share, and maybe even post on Facebook some of the amazing things that God is doing in your life, the blessings, the things he's showing and teaching you through this difficult season that we are all facing.